Now, it's the finale of Call the Midwife this weekend and the lives of some of the Natus House's most loved characters are in danger. Oh, Georgie Glenn, who plays Miss Higgins, joins us now. Oh, gosh, Georgie, what a cliffhanger. A very upsetting, emotional cliffhanger. To be honest, when I saw the episode myself, I was shocked mm. and I knew it was coming. Mm -hmm. So I think the way it just evolved and happened at the end of the episode was shocking. You just... Yeah. Didn't see it was about to happen. Absolutely not. We know Nancy is hopefully OK. Sister Julian and, of course, Dr Patrick are the two that we're worried I'm about. I'm terrified I say anything that gives anything away. <laughs> I've been... I've had the riot act read to me <laughs> that I've got to be terribly careful what I say, but obviously that drama will continue to unfold mm -hmm. um, throughout the final episode. Of course. It and it, it has repercussions throughout because everyone has to put their fears to one side roll up their sleeves, get on, leave their personal worries mm -hmm. aside. And also, Sister Hilda, played by the lovely Fenella Woolgar, is dealing with a delivery mm -hmm. over at the um, maternity home and knows nothing about it. And, of course, that is the lady of, who is the wife of the train driver. The train driver. So they know nothing until Miss Higgins turns up yeah. that that's Very going on. Very turbulent times. You talked it about is. sort of pulling the sleeves up and trying to get on. Yeah. And that is kind of what Miss Higgins does best, isn't it? I think not only Miss Higgins, I think all the characters mm. in the show do, don't they? But yes, that is what she does. I mean, she, if you think about her age, she was born sort of at the beginning of the 20th century. She was born somewhere before 1910. So she's lived through some very challenging times. She's lived through some challenging decades where you have no choice, but you get on. And I also think that perhaps she's, um, she's that kind of woman. I mean, I was born in the 50s and Miss Higgins is a very sort of familiar character to me. I was brought up in Helensburgh in the west of Scotland and I mean, my childhood was peopled by Miss Higgins's. You know, the tweed suits ruled. <laughs> and and you they are very familiar. And I think they are of their time. I mm. think they had plans. They probably had thoughts of how their lives would play out. You know, maybe, you know, maybe get married, have children, yeah. and then life got in the way. Of course. So you play her like you know her. I, I feel I do know mm -hmm. her. She's been, well, she's been part of my life for four years now. I'm a relative new girl in Call the Midwife, but I do know her. She's a very... I, I feel she's a very comfortable fit for me. Mm. Although and we did see a slightly more vulnerable side when we saw the burglary and her home was broken in. Yes. And suddenly... And that, now, is that, that, I think, is the, the only time you've seen her vulnerable. Mm. I think she's very good. Um, she's learnt to wear her armour. She doesn't um, easily show her inner side to anybody. I think beginning with Nurse Crane, that's beginning to come out a bit now in her friendship when she trusts. But she protects herself. And I think that burglary really knocked her sideways because she couldn't control it, yeah. you know. And, I mean, I've I've been broken into. I don't know if you have, yeah, but... Yeah, yeah. The, the consequences, you just don't know until it's happened to you. Mm -hmm. The mental impact it has on you, quite apart from the loss of, of anything you might lose from a practical point of view. You just feel unsafe. It's yeah. like a kind of loss of innocence, that your home is no longer the haven it was. Mm -hmm, exactly. So, again, you were playing her, knowing well, what Miss yeah. Higgins was going through. Yeah. We... Everyone loves Call the Midwife. There are two other series now have been confirmed already. So, so we I know hear. it's coming back and it's so there to stay for a while, which, which mm. feels wonderful to everyone. Um, I have to just bring this up, Georgie, because this doesn't happen every day. But you came in today with a beautiful plate of freshly baked bakery cookie, brownies, they just look I like did. chocolate gorgeousness. Is this something you do all of the time? Well... Is this what the cast of Call the Midwife get daily? I mean, how lucky know, are awful. they? It's awful because I've never done it for Call the Midwife. Well, we are just special, clearly. Then. I don't know. It, it's something I've done throughout my acting career that anybody who knows me will know. And what I brought today, I used to make on a weekly basis for Waterloo Road. Um, so I do do it, and I started off very early on in my career. I used to make chocolate buns all the time. And why was and this? Is this just a lovely thing to do? I think I just wanted to stay and work. And I think I thought, I think in the <laughs> early I, days, well, I thought, I'm if in, I feed them, if nothing else, I'll take... <laughs> and I used to, in the very early days, and I worked with Harry Enfield a lot, and I would get up early and make chocolate buns before I went to work so that they were fresh. <laughs> 
You know, they had to be fresh out of the oven. And I, you know, I kind of think I, I owe the fact I'm still working to that. So well, I'm going to keep doing it. Keep doing it. Because I will. we're all very, very happy. Well, Before we let you go home yeah. safely, Georgie, uh, ITV drama with Adrian Dunbar coming up as well. That's very exciting. Yeah. I'm filming that at the moment and we're filming up uh, around Manchester area. It's a new drama. Obviously, Adrian is heading it. His co-star is Brona War, who's wonderful. Um, I, you'll know her from The Fall, of obviously. Course, and yeah, I do indeed. And um, it's a very, very exciting project. It's mm -hmm. going to be four episodes of two hours. So it's a proper, you know, a two-hour episode a of gritty... Yeah, a and it's able to be drama. very layered mm -hmm. and complex scripts. It's a very exciting project. Fantastic. Nice to Undoubtedly, that. they will see your brownies as well, Georgie. <laughs> they have already, They actually. have, of yes, course they, they have. have. <laughs> Thank you so much, Georgie, it's, honestly. What a delight it is pleasure. to see you this Thank morning. Thank you for having um, me. Call the Midwife continues on Sunday at 8pm on BBC One. Don't forget, you can watch full episodes of Lorraine on the ITV Hub and all the best clips, compilations and playlists right here on our channel. Just subscribe now and you'll never miss an upload. Click here to watch another video similar to this one or click here to head to our channel's homepage to explore all of our exciting videos.